What's up, National Flare Army? It is me, Icy Hair. Now it's time to continue our Florida Panthers VGM mode. We are starting off the month of December, and we sit actually in fourth place in the standings. We're 21, 12, and 2. And let's get on with the first game of the seat uh, for the month of December. We're up against the Boston Bruins, and we start off the scoring with Martin St. Louis on Lundquist. And that wraps up the first period. On to the second period we go. It's really quiet for Boston. There we go. Jonathan Taves. Going into the third. Oh, Boston strikes with Sharp. And we have Lennon in the net. Can we walk out of this game? Uh... There we go. We score the empty netter. Joffrey Lupel. We get those two points against the Boston Bruins. <clears throat> and they didn't have a really good record, so we needed that. So the Ottawa Senators are our next game, and they have a pretty good record. 21, I believe it was. No, 22 now. 8 and 6. So let's go into this game. Head high. See if we can get what we want. A win. They have the power play first. They could not capitalize. We're on the power play. Nothing done. And that wraps up the first. It's a goaltender game here. Going back and forth. The shots on net. Oh. We're on the power play. We get the... F oh, there we go. Brad Richards on Nicholas Backstrom. We're getting a lot of shots on net, and that's what I like to see. So it'll be nothing for the Ottawa Senators to strike back, and they do. Weiss scores on Lettinen. Then we have a tie game, one apiece. With only seconds remaining. Oh my goodness, a minute and 18 left in the third period. Jamie Benn scores on Lettinen, giving Ottawa that push to advance. <sighs> Alright, so it's okay. We got the two-day two break. Then we're going to be home to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ottawa's a good team, man. They forced it in that third period. Okay, so it's going to be Dubnik versus Lettinen, it says. So let's see how Lettinen plays. Longo's taking a big break, apparently. Our coach seems to want to go with Lettinen. He's uh, rallying up some saves there. They're on the power play. Wow, they got 14 shots in the first period, and we get a shot on Dubnik, and it's Christopher Konitz. And then Daniel Sedin scores on Lennon. Uh-oh, we're not getting a lot of shots at all. They must be playing really good defense. They're on the power play, 30 shots. There it is, Matt Duchesne on Lennon. Deflection. Oh, and then Marion Hosta scores to tie up the game with a slap shot on Dubnik. And we're, oh, Joffrey Lupel with a wrist shot, does not want overtime, and then the empty netter by strike. What a big comeback by the Florida Panthers. They were down, then they came back, and they walk away with the win. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> so now as we advance, we're going away, we're going into Boston, and their record has gotten worse, 18-18-3. So we'll simulate this game. Hopefully this will be an easy walk of the park, we'll walk out with two points. Let's see. Here we go. They're off to the power play. Rich shot by Goncher. Goncher. Ugh, can't talk right now. And second period, here we go. We gotta pop one in the net here. We have a chance. Oh my god. Advocator scores a slap shot on Lettinen. And there we go. Joffrey Lupo, the wrister on Enroth. Can we tie it? Yes, we do. Joffrey Lupo, a slap shot on Enroth now. We got two. Oh my god, Martin St. Louis with a wrist shot. Nice. We came back. We were down 2 0. Oh, Mercer, the young gun, slap shot. I'm telling you, I feel, I feel like there's a future in Florida for Mercer. Maybe first line center or second line center. And then Parents, a slap shot. What a comeback for the Florida Panthers. They were down. They come back, tie the game. Then they prevail with a big score of 5-2. to two. Now we're having a day break, and then we're going back home to verse the Predators. 
Alright, so let's simulate this game. First period, here we go. Power play for us, 5 on 3, couldn't prevail. Good penalty killed by the uh, Predators. We had another power play. Second period, there we go. Jonathan Taves on Corbin. So they have a young gun in the net, taking their chances. There we go, we got our 20 shots. Third period. Where was the net for us? Is holding down the fort. David Clarkson on Gor uh, Corbin. <clears throat> Two goal cushion. Uh oh. Carter scores on Lettinen. Lettinen, you were playing good, buddy. And we walk away with the win. Thank you. Lettinen had a great game. 24 saves. And what a good game by our offense. Now we are on our home stretch here, and we're going to be facing the Jets. <clears throat> we have three home games in a row, so simulate against the Jets. I didn't check their record. God damn it. Well, let's just see. Oh, off the bat, Marion Hosa on Ben Scrivens, the professor. And it seems to be quiet after that. Into the second period we go. Like to get those 20 shots in the second. Oh, they're putting the shots on us though. We got the 20, we need it. Oh, David Krejci scores, Jack. Yeah, they're pounding us with shots now. Tie game. Third period. 10 minutes. It's a close game for shots, I'm telling you. Overtime. Going, oh, we score on the power play with a wrist shot from Jonathan Taves on the Professor. And we walk away with two points, but the Winnipeg Jets get a point. Two is more important, and their record wasn't that great, 17-21. And we're going up against the Edmonton Oilers. We seem to be having a strong season with their record of 22-13-6. Simulate this game. Oh, off the bat, Joffrey Lupel on Markov. Power play, couldn't convert. They're on the power play, couldn't convert. Killed it off. Both teams, oh, McKinnon on Lalongo. So Lalongo's getting the start after a long stretch of not playing, so he's a bit weary. He doesn't have the warm-up. Oh, Mike Fisher, thank you. He's not warmed up like Lettman is. So we'll give him the benefit of the doubt if anything happens. Ooh, Barry scores all on Longo. We have a lot of power play, and there we go, Joffrey Lupel. Thank you. Slap shot. Can we hold off? We have a lot of shots on net. We gotta hold it off, though. Come on, boys. There we go, the win. Longo comes in the net, gives Letton in the break, and we walk away with the win. I like two goaltenders that can get us wins. Now, after this long home stretch, we are going away to the Phoenix Coyotes, to the Fox Den. Simulate game. Here we go. We're on the power play and we score. Marion hosts a slap shot on James Reimer. And then we got Joffrey Lupel, a slap shot on James Reimer. So slap shots are defeating James Reimer. And then Evander Kane scores on Lalongo with a slap shot. So Lalongo is getting a second straight game in a row play here. Setaguchi scores on him, tying the game at two in the second period. We have the five on three, and the Phoenix Coyotes killed it off, and they score. Bodker scores on Lalago. Another power play, and we score Joffrey Lupul. He's been doing good for us lately in the month of December. A lot of Lupul. Get Lupul with it. And then Greening scores on Lalago. Damn, four to three. Can we tie the game in the third period? Uh oh. Butler scores, so we kind of have to score two goals. <gasps> Mike Fisher, can we score one more to tie the game? No, we could not prevail. The Phoenix Coyotes walk away with a 5-4 to four victory. It was a close game, back and forth. And we're moving on to the Montreal Canadiens. So we're going to get two months done in this simming, January and December. So let's see what the Montreal Canadiens have in store for us.
And they score first on us. Damn. Then we score Marion Host, so that's what I'm talking about. One to one game. They have later in the net. Yes, Parento. Thank you. And then Christopher Kunitz, two goal cushion. Second period. Two more shots, boys. That's all we need. There we go. They got three there. Uh, there we go. Third period. Here we go. Come on, play that defensive game of hockey. We just got to walk out with this points. Oh, fuck. Corey Perry. Um, Lilongo. Wow, we just got to hold off on this lead. We can do it. Two minutes. One minute. Yes! Empty net goal by Jonathan Taves. Thank you. That's what I like to see. Review GM tracker. Can I put points on it? Uh, I want to do my amateur scout. Okay. Perfection. Funny our scout didn't say anything about uh, scouting. Because he's a scout. He should be telling me about scouting. The butt fart. Wow. Talk about your scout. Alright, so let's scout for an assignment here. Give him something to do. So we need to look for forwards, obviously. Oh, look at this guy. Bretner. Or Bitter. Bitter. Okay, so we're sending him here. Oops, didn't mean to click on him. He's going to be top 10 draft. Oops. Alright, so we got a few guys here, so we'll send him here for six weeks in the WHL. Keep scouting, we need forwards. Alright, so we're going to play against the Nashville Predators. Their record's not that great, so we got to walk away with some points here. First period, here we go. We strike first, Lupul. It's Lupul time on Reimer. Reimer? What the fuck? I mean to say Miller. And then Vermette on the long go. So they were holding no last game. They were playing their prospect against us, and they had Ryan Miller this whole time. Is that like a lure? Are they trying to fool us? I think so. Penner scores on us, and they get the 2-1 lead. Oh, there we go. We got our 20 shots. Third period. They're only up by one. We can come back here. Oh, power play. Couldn't convert another power play. The refs are on our side. We can't complete it. Five minutes left. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. The power play, man. We had it. So many power plays. Could not convert on them. Up next is the Minnesota Wild. How are they doing so far this year? Ugh, they don't have a really good record either. This is where we gotta win. Let's go. Pound on the shots right off the bat. That's a good sign. Power play. Nothing. They have power play. Killed it off. Good. Second period we go. Get those 20 shots. Power play for them. Yeah, yeah. Good parent. So thank you on Cam Ward. Now, come on. Keep forcing those shots. Any shot on net could be a good shot. Oh, no. Spalling scores on the long go. We had a big power play there. Look at the shots on net for us. Come on. Compared to their 20. Keep putting it on net. Oh, forcing overtime. Shoot it. Shoot it. Wow. They scored. Korpowski. Wow, their goaltender played great. Look at the shots on net we had. Who was their goaltender? Her, oh, they had oh, Cam Ward. Cam Ward played amazing for the Minnesota Wild there. So one, two, three, four, five, six day break. And it's the All-Star game. So we're obviously going to skip over that. Our record's looking a little scary with 28, 15, and 4. So we're obviously, I don't think we're in the top 5 anymore. We'll have to take a look at that. I do not believe we're in the top. Okay, no All-Star game. We'll look at the end of the month, where we are position-wise. So we're facing the Dallas Stars, home against them, 20-24-3. We have to walk away with a win. I know I keep saying that, but I mean, it's the teams that have the records, that we, or the shitty records. We should be walking away with wins. And Pavel Datsuk strikes first with a wrist shot on the long go. Longo's playing a lot of games right now. Where's why aren't they playing Curry Lettinen? I know Longo was playing the best so far, and Curry wasn't. But then Curry was having a nice streak. All right, second period. 
We're not. We're getting pounded. Look at this. Just barely getting shots. And Lupo gets a skull on Noidworth. And then Merck St. Louis, I say we're getting pounded. And my team makes me shove my foot down my throat. And there we go. Edlo with the power play goal. We still have the power play. Somehow we striked out of nowhere against the Dallas Stars. They just fell apart. They had us there with barely any shots on net. And wow, they're exploding right back at us. Come on, get out of this. Oh my god, Johansson. We can't get out of the game. They forced overtime. And we're getting a point. And they get it in the shootout for Stieg. Damn, man. We came out of nowhere. Okay, first Dallas was destroying us. Came out of nowhere. Got the lead. They came out of nowhere. Tied it up. That was ridiculous. Holy oh, shit. We couldn't play good defense. And our team has a lot of good prospects in defense. So we got to watch that. Alright, so the Avalanche have a very, very good record. Way better than us. Kind of the same, but I mean, let's see what happens when we go into this game. Right off the bat, they score Hanawaski. That's how I'm going to say his name. And we have Lettinen in the net play, so come on, Lettinen, prove it. Oh, Stepniak scores. They have a two-goal lead. Come on, Lettinen, prove it to our team. We're having troubles. The trade deadline's coming up. We might have to ship off one of you goaltenders. We need some offensive forwards. Especially prospects because with uh, St. Louis maybe retiring soon and Patrick Marlowe. Who's not even showing his face lately. They are pounding us with shots. Come on, power play couldn't convert. Don't get shut out, boys. Come on, where's my team? My team's not here. Well, it was the Avalanche game. Huh. Where was Florida at? Not on the ice. Holy shit. We got wiped out 2 to nothing. Now, our last game of January, the Chicago Blackhawks. Their record sucks shit, so we have to get a win here. If we don't, I will be disappointed. I will go all out. I will be pissed. I'll be trading players left, right, and center at the trade deadline. If we don't win this game right here. That must wake up, you guys. Hopefully it wakes them up a bit. Can't even fucking score. Four periods without a goal. Jonathan Taves, you are safe on this team. Then Shea Weber scores on us. I'm trying to be cool, calm, and collective. Edler, there we go. We're not trading you. Whoever scores, this game's not getting traded. I'm calling it out right now. Whoever scores, not getting traded. And then White scores on Lettinen. And then Barkoff scores on Lettinen. Gotta be shitting me. Wow. Wow. What a comeback by the Chicago Blackhawks. Their record sucks shit, which means they're able to beat us. Okay, so we're going to simulate up to the first game of February, and we're going to take a look at our standings here. That, sh oh, that grills me. That should have been a win. Like, Look at Chicago's record there. That was just terrible, and they were able to pull through with a win. All right, so your top teams in the Pacific and Central Division are Colorado and Edmonton. That's... That's strange for Edmonton, okay. Then, look at this. We are down in fourth. We are the wild card. And we are 61 points, so we can get above Detroit and Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay. So it's kind of easy to get jump up in the points there. We can do it. We just got to get, like, a good win streak on the go. So we're going to take a look at our... Where the fuck is it? Uh, Stats Central, I think. Not team standings, player stats for the season, NHL. Let's take a look at our guys, see who's playing good, so we can determine by the trade deadline what we need to do. We need obviously need some forwards. Oops. Uh, so we're going to look at all forwards. So Marion Hosa is leading our team with 45 points. Jonathan Taves with 44. Martin Saint will be with 43. So these are our top guys right here. Joffrey Lupo with 35, Drew in with 33. That's great for him because it's his second year in the NHL. Brad Richards with 27, Perito with 16, Marlow with 15. See, that's where I think Marlow has to leave at the trade deadline. 15 points, almost halfway mark of the NHL season. 15 points, not that good. Especially for him. Um... Fisher, 14. Clarkson, 12. Mercer, 9. That's good for him. He's on the fourth line center. Prospect. See, Kunitz, not good at all. 8. 
So maybe Kunitz, Dupuis, and Marlow leaving the team at the trade deadline. Um, oops, I keep clicking the wrong fucking shit. Defensemen, let's take a look at them. Danny Boyle, 22 points. Edler, 17. Streit, 16. Gormley, 14. Rahul, 7. So, and Morgan Riley, 6. I don't know why. He must have came up for something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not playing him. He's sitting. Oh, he was on, I guess, for a bit. Well, anyways. Saying 50 games played, but he's not. Is he? Yeah, fuck. I'm thinking of somebody else. Alright, so, okay, hold on. So, we can keep our defense the way it is. That's fine. Goaltenders, letting him. This is where we got to look here. Okay. So, Lennon has 13 wins, Lago has 15 wins, Lago has 7, Lennon has seven, 10 losses, Lago has 7 losses. But they've been playing at different points and times, you know. But I can't really tell between which goalie would be best for us, Lennon or Lago. Lennon is a 85 overall, Lago is an 85 overall. When we look at athleticism. Are athletic. The aggressiveness is 89, 89, 80, 92, 90 speed, 88 vision, 85 vision, 88, 80. Like, Latin endurance, though, for the long go is a lot better, though. But when you look at the athleticism, it's a lot better. Puck control, 88, 85, 88, 88, 87, 87. Um. Uh, Letton and shines a lot more with puck control. And let's take a look at reflexes. 86 is 87, 88. Yeah. Letton's just a lot better on paper than Longo. So I need you guys to help me decide here which goaltender we're going to let go. We obviously know for forwards who we're letting go. We're going to try to get someone with Fakunitz, Merlo. And uh, Dupuis, hopefully it could be like a shipping deal, like a big trade that we can do. Um, I'll take a look at our rosters just so you guys can see. Uh, roster edit lines. So we're keeping St. Louis, Taves, Hosa. So Marlowe's on the second line and only was able to get, what was it, 15 points or 19 points, along with Lupul and Brad Richards. you think he would have got some assists with Lupul's goals, but I guess not. So when you have Marlowe and Kunitz here, so, we're going to have to get someone to fill the fourth line, which it won't be hard. We can pick up a grinder or something like Clarkson, right? So, Kunitz can be traded for draft picks or maybe a good prospect if we're lucky. Maybe we'll be able to get it with a Marlowe Kunitz trade or a Dupuy trade because, look, we're sitting out Dupuy right now. Oops. We are sitting Dupuy out. When you go back here and look at our right wing. No, he's a left DA. No, he's a right wing. See, look, we're sitting uh, the Puyo right now, so he could be within a blockbuster trade. So we have some trading aspects here. I'll leave it up to you guys to let me know. That's all from the Icy, and hope you guys enjoy.